Uh, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you another simple program. This um, I believe a lot of people have practiced with, uh, but I'm doing this my own way. This is the tip calculator uh, where you can use it at a restaurant. I know you won't have this at a restaurant with you, but it's good practice for beginners once again. Um, and it does help you see like how the calculations are actually made. As always, you start out with a blank program um, and sign it again with your programmer, maybe the program name. I've done it here. And the only thing you have to include again is IO stream. You won't need anything special. So again, the namespace standard comes so that you don't have to use standard in front of all of your equations and outputs. It saves a lot of time and um, keeps you from getting a lot of errors. Void main again, you can use int main. And as always, you should close it just in case you forget later on. Um, here we're going to have, um, we're going to use both integers and float to avoid confusion. We'll do int, uh, we'll do the number of people. Since uh, tip calculator will usually tell you what the total bill is or how much each person may have to pay, I'll include that here too. So the people is integer because we can't have a decimal point when it, when it comes to people. So you can't have two and a half people paying the bill. For the float, we will have the bill, which will be the bill they receive. The tip rate. Uh, the total tip, which we will determine with the calculation. And <clears throat> let's say total. That will be the total bill that um, everyone will split. That will be the split bill. Uh, we will have to start out with a couple of C outs. Uh, this prompts the user to input a few, few values. We'll first get what the bill is, like how much is the bill. Uh, we'll leave out the word total. Once again, you have to end it. <clears throat> and then CN will tell the program that the user is inputting bill. And then we'll have another C out. We'll prompt the user to tell us what the tip rate will be. Um, uh, we'll, we'll say, um, actually we'll worry about how much, how many people will be splitting the bill. How many people. We'll be splitting the bill. You see, I'm putting a space here so that um, whatever the input is, it's, it's not uh, stuck together. CN, it'll be people. Since it's integer, uh, if anyone ex puts in 2.5, it'll show just 2. If someone puts in 2.9, it'll still show up as 2. It doesn't look at the decimal point. It won't round up or round down in any way. And the last C out will ask the user uh, what percentage the uh, the tip will be like what is the percentage of the tip the tip again the space and you should end it and then we'll tell the program that he's putting in tip and now we start the calculations <clears throat> uh, first we want to find out how much the total tip will be so to find the total tip we'll have to do bill times the tip, right? Well, it's not that simple. Since tip, you're going to enter a whole digit. Uh, we are going to put, we're going to have to do tip divided by 100, which will give us a decimal point for the tip. We'll put a point here so that it doesn't turn into um, a weird zero. Uh, it just happens from time to time, glitches in the program. It'll stay float, not integer. See this, well, this will take the bill, let's say the bill is $100. And the tip, the input here, 15%. So the total tip, or the total tip will be, um, this will be 15 divided by 100, which is 0.15, times the bill, which is $100. It'll be $15. So the program will output $15 as the total tip. And to split the total bill, we'll have to do total equals 2. It'll be total tip, total tip plus bill. Uh, that uh, that'll give you the total 
that you will have to pay but we want to show how many people will actually split the bill or what it'll be that each person will be paying so we we'll want to put that in parentheses because this does follow the Prendel thing um, you know it's a uh, PEMDAS excuse me it's um please excuse my giant salary you do parentheses first exponents later followed by multiplications and division and then additions and subtractions so we'll do divided by people and uh, the number of people here will be whatever the input is here it'll always be whole number not uh, decimal points you don't have to worry about that and once we have that we want to output all the outcomes of the equations so first we will do the total tip is total tip at uh, we'll show the percentage at tip percentage is and then we'll show the total tip here so if the tip is uh, I want to end that first there we go <clears throat> okay so if the tip here if the input is 15 percent this will display the total tip is at 15 percent sign that will be the percent sign and the total tip will be the calculation here so if it was 15 it'll be tip divided by 100 if it's 15 it'll be 5.15 times the bill um, so that will do the calculation <clears throat> and then the next line we'll do um, let's say each person will pay the dollar sign doesn't automatically come up total total which is the value from here total and then we can just end it uh, if you want to add anything else you can but right now I want to keep it simple and if you don't want your program shutting off automatically or immediately if you want to do system pause and end the line uh, <clears throat> this should do it um, it'll tell you everything that um, you have to know about tip calculator like um, I know some of them take into account how many people are paying what they'll have to split uh, what the total tip may be for the bill uh, this displays everything and it puts all the variables into consideration and here we have five compared to fewer um, in some of my other videos so why don't we run this and see how it goes in order to debug you can press F5 or you can debug uh, let's say how much is the bill we'll use the value of 100 since I've been using that as an example 100 how many people will be splitting the bill we'll say 5 and what is the percentage of the tip let's say 15 15 percent will be 23 dollars yeah the total tip uh, at 15 percent I should fix that it's 15 you see there are some inconsistencies you can and there's some dollar sign here it's just a blonde there so you can always fix that total tip at percentage is and put the dollar sign here and you have that you also saw that it was a little bit grouped together if you want to add an extra space between the questions and the answers you'll do you just do a C out and uh, ENDL and then close it and then run it again I'll show you well, how much is the bill we'll do 100 again Let's say five people the percentage is 15 see there's a space here because of the ENDL down here um, each the total tip at 15 percent is 15 dollars that makes a lot more sense each person will pay 23 dollars let's try again with the different number let's do 225 how many people will be splitting? Let's say 10. What percentage of the bill? The tip? Let's say 10%. There we go. Total tip at 10% is $22.50. And each person will pay $24.75. That sounds about right. Uh, there are many other things that you can add. Um, you can subtract to make it a little bit simpler. You can also, you don't need to do this in three different questions. You can ask uh, how much is the total bill, how many people will be splitting it, put it all in the same line. Uh, and to get all the output in the same line you just cascade it you just add a cascade and you add the variables for example people tip so that way you add three different answers in one line instead of getting three different questions but i believe this is a little bit more organized uh, less confusing
Oh, yeah, if I might. Um, that's about it. This is a little bit more complex. Um, it has a lot more steps, a lot more variables. I use both integer and float. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want this program, uh, a copy of this program, let me know. I'll send it to you right away. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope to bring you more soon.